I'm getting ready to roll Happier out of the shop. This is my 280SL. And there's one more thing I'm concerned about. You know, I've, I've done a lot on this, a car that's particularly in around the engine. You know, we've rebuilt the fuel pump, put all new fuel hoses on. But there's one thing I don't know about, and that's the condition inside the fuel tank. You know, I think it's clean, but I don't know. And it's really hard to tell. You can, you know, look down there with a flashlight. Obviously, if you pull this off, gas cap off, and look down in here, and there's a lot of rust, you have a problem. But uh, this tank looks pretty good. But I want to protect this pump right here. <laughs> These are no longer manufactured. Just in the last few months, they've dropped off the market. Now, you could still get some. They're up around the $700 range, but uh, we've been informed that these are no longer going to be made. So it's very important that I protect this pump from c contamination because that can wear out the internals. Now, there is, granted, there is a finger screen here, but I'm not so sure if that finger screen is fine enough, is a fine enough micron mesh to really protect the pump uh, vein mechanism from extremely fine rust particles that might uh, be, be in the fuel tank. So I got up this morning, I said, you know, I really want to put a filter. I want to put a filter from the tank to the pump. A filter that I can see. I can actually get into the car and look and visually check whether or not it's getting rust or other contaminants from the fuel tank. I want to do this both with my uh, 230 or 280SL. I want to do it with my 6.3 and I want to do it with the two 280SEs. I have all these four cars that I have use this type of uh, electric fuel pump. So. What I'm showing you now is going to apply from uh, a lot of models, fuel-injected models from the early 60s right up till uh, 1972 or 1973. So I figured, you know, here I am thinking, now the problem is the size of the hose. How are you going to find a filter? The size, it's almost over 3 eighths of an inch diameter. Let me show you up close what the hoses look like, and then I'll show you what I came up with to be able to provide a filter that pre-filters all the sediment in the tank before it enters the electric fuel pump. I first want to show you the diameter of the outlet hoses on these old mechanical fuel injected Mercedes. See, it's rather large. Like I said, it's a little bit over 3 eighths of an inch. So it's very hard to find any type of filter with a large uh, nipple that you can clamp onto this outlet hose. So I, you know, I wanted to use one of these pre-filters that is so common on the diesels. I could use one of the pre-filters, then I could see through it because it's clear. It has a very fine micron mesh here. But look at the problem. How are you gonna, how are you gonna take the end of this, which takes a eight millimeter or five sixteenths inch fuel hose, and clamp it down on this large fuel hose here? It isn't gonna work. You're gonna have fuel leaks. So. Um, I went to work and enter a brand new product from Mercedes Source right here. This is the new MFI fuel injection system pre-filter. Look at that. We modified this with a, a special hose. This is a hose that's not susceptible to deterioration with gasoline. And by putting this on the end of these pre-filters, look at this. It slides right in there now and slips on real tight, and then it can just be clamped down right there like that. Now, one of the things we, we, we ran into when we were designing this is that some of the hoses on some of these old models are a little bit bigger diameter than the hose we supply on my website. You can see here, this one goes in kind of loose. Now, granted, it probably would work if you really clamped it down, but when you're dealing with gasoline, you do not want any potential for leaks back there. So uh, what, I, what we're doing is if one of our models has one of these larger hoses, now you can see how this hose uh, goes on the, the fuel pump. Look at that. It slides on and fits fairly snug, so that's probably okay but this new hose that we supply goes on real tight like that. And I, I much prefer that 
So we're, any of the older style hoses, we're going to convert them with this newer style hose here. And I want to show you what this looks like. We just made, uh, just completed the conversion on my 280SL. We drained all the fuel out of the tank, used a clamping tool, and installed this. Take a look. Isn't that slick? Now, all I have to do, even with the cover on over the fuel pump, all I have to do is get underneath the car, just kneel down underneath the car and look up in there, and I can monitor the condition of the fuel exiting the fuel tank anytime I want. So we're really excited about this. Um, we decided that there's going to be some other people out there that will want this. So we're going to provide a kit at mercedesource.com. So if you have one of these old Mercedes, you can make this conversion yourself. So because of the variation in the hoses, I'm going to provide this new filter. This is, this is our new product. I'm going to provide it with a hose that I know will fit. One of the newer style hoses will give hose clamps, and I'm actually going to include two filters. This is a kit that will be available on my website. So if you have one of these older Mercedes, and you're not sure about the condition of the fuel tank, I highly, and I'm going to say highly recommend, you install this visual pre-filter to protect your fuel pump as well as your other important fuel injection components in your engine compartment. So if you're interested in this, click on the show more below the description of this video. Take you, the link will take you right to this kit on my website.